What's the difference between decentralized exchange and centralized exchanges? Great question. Here is a breakdown of the key differences between decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges. Centralized exchange is a platform which is operated by a central authority or company, for example, Binance, Coinbase. The exchange will hold your funds and will manage transactions on your behalf. The CEX is generally more user-friendly with intuitive interfaces and often provide customer support and additional services like staking and lending. This kind of platform typically has higher liquidity due to a larger user base and market makers. It's easy to execute large reads without significant price impacts. But it's vulnerable to hacks and security breaches since funds are held by the exchange. Users must trust the exchange to safeguard their assets. CEX are subject to regulatory oversight and must comply with KYC, Know Your Customer, and email anti-money laundering regulations. On the other hand, decentralized exchange operates without a central authority. Transactions are managed by smart contracts on a blockchain, for example, Uniswap, SushiSwap. Users retain control of their funds at all times. DEX can be less intuitive and they require a basic understanding of blockchain technology. There is no customer support. Users must resolve issues on their own. Decentralized exchanges often have lower liquidity compared to CEX, which can lead to higher price leapage. DEX relies on liquidity providers who earn fees for supplying liquidity. Generally, DX are more secure since users hold their own funds. However, smart contracts vulnerabilities can pose risks. Decentralized exchanges are less regulated because they are offering more privacy and anonymity. In this case, users are responsible for their own compliance with local laws. To summarize, CTX are user-friendly, regulated, and offer a higher liquidity but require you to trust the exchange with your funds. DX provide more control and privacy with funds held, held within your own wallet but can be less intuitive and have lower liquidity. Choosing between CX and DX depends on your priorities such as ease of use, control over funds, and privacy. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and happy airdropping.